Let's take a look at the best manager from every top league on the planet. And no, that doesn't include the Egyptian league, alright? Indian I League, Steve Koppel. If any of you were wondering what on earth ever happened to Steve Koppel, don't worry, he hasn't spent the last 10 years stuffed in the cupboard crying over his dead hairline. He's been living the life out in India. A manager in England for 30 years, he finally jacked it in in 2016 when Kerala Blasters offered him the job. The man who somehow got Steve Sidwell and Stephen Hunt to finish in the top half jumped at the opportunity to coach Michael Chopra in sweltering 40 degree heat. He's recently taken up the post at Atletico del Calcutta. Chinese Super League, Fabio Cannavaro. Okay, so China have obviously forked out big money for the experienced world-class coaches and Chris Coleman, but I'm giving this one to Fabio Cannavaro, who is fast becoming one of the most talked about coaches on the planet. The highest paid manager in the country with Guangzhou Evergrande. You might think this man is a managerial noob, considering he's been coaching in a league of putting standard for the past five years, but you bite your tongue because I'll have you know he spent a season coaching Al Nasser in the Saudi Arabian League. That doesn't help my point, does it? Still, Cannavaro picked up a league title with Tianjin Canyon in 2016, won an FA Super Cup with Guangzhou last season, and also received the Chinese Coach of the Year award in 2017, which I'm sure looks about as prestigious as something you'd win in a raffle when placed next to his World Cup medal. Scottish Premier League, Brendan Rodgers. Two league titles, two Scottish Cups, two Scottish League Cups, he smashed the old firm derby, and he's only been there two years. Brendan Rodgers' time at Celtic has been pretty much perfect, although seemingly the biggest threat to his title now is the same man who robbed him of a Premier League one. Just kidding, Liverpool fans, please don't mail me chunks of dog feces. The former Swansea and Liverpool coach has his faults and a huge ego, but he's a good coach and he'll be back in the Premier League soon enough. Premier Liga, Sergio Canseco. Sergio Canseco, the latest Portuguese manager to be linked with English clubs, with Arsenal and Everton reportedly sniffing around him at the start of the summer. I mean, why not? The 43-year-old former Inter Milan winger is carving out an impressive managerial career, I mean, done well at Nantes during the 16-17 season. He replaced Nuno Espirito Santo at Porto and in his first season ended the five-year wait for a league title. Turkish Super League, Fatih Terim. Fatih Terim was a manager years before I was born, good lord. Then again, he is 64. To be honest, looking at his career, he's literally just bounced between Galatasaray and the national team in a sort of weird on and off relationship. He sat three stints in charge of Turkey. Don't forget he was awarded the best coach at Euro 2008 when he dragged them kicking and screaming to the semi-finals. And now he's in his fourth spell at Galatasaray. He's just won his seventh league title with the club last season, proving the old man has still got it. Russian Premier League, Massimo Carrera. The man who used to be Antonio Conte's assistant at Juventus, Massimo Carrera is one of the only managers in Russia who isn't actually Russian. As Italian as they come, no, he didn't win the league last year, in fact Spartak Moscow finished third, but the 54 year old did help them to a league and cup double the year before. Eredivisie, Eric Den Haag. Okay, I'm not exactly spoiled for choice in the Eredivisie, alright? I'm gonna go for Eric Den Haag, reluctantly because the man is still pretty unproven. He's only been at Ajax for six months, but before that the Dutchman was excelling at FC Utrecht, winning the KNVP Cup, finishing fifth and then fourth. Let's see how he gets on the Ajax. Then again, Frank De Boer won the league every year and couldn't even spit in the direction of a goal when given a Premier League job. MLS, Bob Bradley. Speaking of terrible Premier League managers, oh good lord, Bob Bradley. No, Bradley, we didn't laugh at you because you said offense and road games. We laughed at you because you couldn't manage your way out of a paper bag at Swansea. Still though, he's regarded as one of the MLS's most successful managers of all time and is currently rebuilding his career at Los Angeles FC. Then again, this is the same league where Bradley Wright Phillips is a superstar, so make of that what you will. League on Leonardo Jardim. Oh, controversial choice. No PSG boss. No Thomas Tuchel. No, Leonardo Jardim makes the cut. To be honest, I thought Tuchel was a bit of a strange appointment for PSG, considering he's barely won anything. Unlike Jardim, who won the league with Olympiacos five years ago, but more importantly, somehow dethroned PSG two years ago with a plucky Monaco side, while simultaneously hauling them to a Champions League semi-final. I do feel sorry for now though, considering half his squad has been picked apart. Bundesliga, Lucien Favre. Again, I'm not gonna go for the big guns, no Bayern Munich coach. Well, again, Nico Kovac was a bit of a weird choice, all right? It's almost like these super clubs are finding their respective leagues too easy now, so they're affording to take a chance on young managers nowadays. Anyway, Lucien Favre is an experienced coach, but his stock is sky high now after his excellent work at Nice. Replacing Klopp well in 2016, he helped them to third, qualifying them for the Champions League, their best position in decades. He even got Mario Balotelli playing well again, for Christ's sake. Now he's at Dortmund, let's see what he does. Syria, Massimiliano Allegri. No contest, without a shadow of a doubt, Massimiliano Allegri. I'll be honest, when he was given the boot at AC Milan four years ago, I assumed he was just another useless Italian manager thrown on the scrap heap. Instead, that just looks like another decision that proves their boardroom have brains made of sawdust. Since then, he's won four Serie A's, adding to the one he won at AC, four Copa Italias, and has reached two Champions League finals. La Liga, Diego Simeone. No Barcelona manager, no Real Madrid manager. All right, hear me out. Yes, Julian Lopetegui seems a decent manager, if a bit of a Fabian Delph. Ernesto Valverde, 
Valverde had a great debut season at Barcelona, but let's be honest, we've seen many managers come and go at the new Camp with varying degrees of success. They're not all super gods. Yes, I know he had five very good years at Bilbao. Look, he's a good manager, but he also has some of the best players in the world at his disposal. Diego Simeone has been consistently working miracles for years. The fact that he has one league title in a division where the big two chuck around 100 million euros as if it's a loose change is incredible. His two Champions League finals as well, the Europa League wins, his consistent ability to unearth world-class talent. I mean, it's just Simeone. Premier League, Pep Guardiola. I've always been an admirer of Jose Mourinho. I think he's a born winner and was a breath of fresh air when he first arrived at Chelsea. Even in his second spell there, people say he ruined them. No, I mean, he won them their first league title in five years, so that is nonsense. But you can't look past Pep Guardiola, the best coach in world football right now. He just is. 